channel if you are new here hello my name is Katie I live in Orlando and I make all shop with me videos mostly at like Target home goods I love to do home decor videos at TJ Maxx Marshall's Walmart shop with me videos all shopping videos and haul videos stuff like that so if you love shopping and home decor you're definitely gonna love it here so please make sure you give this video a big thumbs up right down below and while you are down there if you are not subscribed yet make sure you hit that subscribe button today's video is going to be a Walmart shop with me I'm really excited to see what new items they have at Walmart maybe 4th of July decor I also need to pick up some groceries as well so I figured I would do a grocery haul Walmart is probably one of my favorite places to shop for groceries I think they have the best priced groceries out of all the stores around me but our like big brand grocery store is Publix and they are very expensive they do have great BOGOs but when you like look past the BOGOs I feel like those make you buy things that you don't actually need but we do need some groceries so I figured I would do a mini grocery haul for you guys as well so make sure you stay tuned to the end for a haul but with all of that being said let's head into Walmart and see what they have right now for like new summer items new 4th of July items let's go explore Walmart and see what they have for us today okay I showed these in my last Walmart shop with me but they're the best deal on citronella candle so I wanted to go ahead and show you again they are huge and these are only five dollars and 88 cents and they work really really well we just have a couple of the black ones but they have a lot of really really cute patterns so if you have been in the market for citronella candles I would highly recommend these ones from Walmart I wanted to show you they do have a little end cap for Pride Month stuff definitely not anywhere close to like what Target is doing the only thing that kind of stands out to me is like this rainbow little makeup thing other than that, I feel like, I don't know. Not as good as Target, but at least they have it. Oh my God, these drink pitchers bring me back. Like, in the summer, we would have these filled with like Kool-Aid. They're the ones that you like spin and you can have it like pour out a lot, just pour out some if there's like ice in there or totally closed. They have a bunch of designs. Did you guys use these? I feel like these were like a total 90s, early 2000s thing. I feel like I haven't seen these in forever. Ooh, look at this cute new stuff I just found from Better Home and Garden. Look at this ice bucket. This is such, such a cute ice bucket. Does it, oh yep, it comes with a scoop. Um, I'm in love with this. We don't have an ice bucket yet, so maybe I'll pick this up. They also have these like buckets. They don't have to be drink buckets, but they definitely could be. And they're the same like little galvanized cream color. And then they do have this like natural element on the sides. They have a bunch of different sizes. That's like the biggest one. They have this one that doesn't have handles. They have like a square like tray version. They have like just a bunch honestly of different shapes. They have like longer shapes, circles. I will have a bunch of these linked down below, but they have a ton of different shapes and sizes in this line. Since it is summer, I definitely want to point out, I feel like Walmart has the best selection of like sun care. Any SPF, any brand, face, specialized for like children, sensitive skin, those sorts of things. And I think they have like the best pricing on it as far as like the big box stores go. So if you're looking for some sunblock, we all know how freaking expensive it can be. They have a ton of options here at Walmart. They also have a lot of like the aftercare products and stuff too. They just have a huge selection so if you're like looking for sun care I would definitely recommend checking here every year Brian and I joke that we should start our own sunblock company so then we wouldn't have to buy sunblock obviously it'd be a lot more expensive to start a sun care company but gosh because especially or especially because we live in Florida I feel like we buy so much sunblock which is good I mean we're protecting our skin but it's freaking expensive. I always see people raving about like the sandals and stuff here and the shoes and that sort of like clothing. I never really shop here for stuff like that. So I thought we could go on this journey together in case you're like me and you have never really given it a chance. Okay, I do want to mention they have like so many aisles of like men's shoes as well. I haven't gotten to the women's yet, but this is giving me hope. They also have a lot of like kids shoes. Holy moly. Some of like the girls shoes. 
really cute stuff. I think I finally made it to women's. So they have these like Birkenstock dupes, which are really, really cute. They have like the suede on the bottom and they have a bunch of really cute colors. They honestly feel like really nice quality and these are only $15 as opposed to like 100. Oh my gosh, what? These are so cute. These slip-ons, Target has a literal identical pair. And these also come in wide width, which is cool for people like me who have really wide feet. These are so freaking cute, are you kidding? They look like such good quality as well and they're only $15. They also have those same shoes in white, if that's like more your cup of tea. And they also have like a lot of really cute slip-on shoes, like these, like what? You would never think this is from Walmart. These studded shoes look like all of the ones I've been showing at TJ Maxx and Marshalls and those are like Steve Madden brand and way more expensive. These look so, so similar and they have a bunch of different colors and these are only $12. I really, really like these sandals. This is a style that I love. I love like the gladiator type strap on the top. You guys know I love those kinds of sandals. These are very, very nice and these are again $13. And they do come in black as well as brown. Those Birkenstock dupes are very, very popular apparently because they're pretty much all sold out in this aisle. So if you've been looking for some Birkenstock dupes, maybe check Walmart. I mean, the proof is in the pudding. They must be great because they're literally sold out. I thought I would kind of peek through the clothing while I'm over here. I love a lot of the Walmart athletic wear, like the sports bras, the shorts, the tank tops, I think are really great. So I can definitely speak to those, but I wanted to see if they had any like cute summer dresses or anything like that. They do have some really cute tanks, like how adorable is that for the 4th of July? Same with that one, love that. And these are only $5. I am not a fan of like fully smocked dresses. I don't really like things that like tightly cling to my body. I think they look really cute on somebody who is like pregnant and has a bump though, but they have some really cute options here like this pink one. They have like a little minty colored one. I think these would be perfect little summer dresses if you're like expecting or if you like smocked stuff like this. These are perfect summer dresses, like pool cover-ups. These look just like the ones I love from Old Navy. And they come in a bunch of different like colors and patterns and they're only $9.96. So definitely an option. If you're looking for like a pool cover-up, these look perfect. They have some nice t-shirt dresses and a bunch of like fun summer colors and these are also only $9.96. This dress is really, really cute. Smocked on the top and then flowy on the bottom, which is what I prefer. I really, really like this one. It's a bit pricier and that one is $18. If you don't like floral, they do have that smocked dress in like more muted prints, muted colors, like the striped one. This baby doll dress totally looks like something I would wear, these stripes. I love all of the colors, and this one is $16. I'm obsessed with these like t-shirt baby doll dresses. I've literally looked at them every time I've come in. I don't know why I haven't bought them yet. They're under $14, and I really love this like coral pinky colored one. Totally a Katie dress. The only thing that concerns me is the length. I feel like it'd be a bit too long for me. I'm not very tall. But if you are taller, I feel like these would be the perfect baby doll dresses and they come in a bunch of fun summer colors. So I could not find absolutely any 4th of July decor. I did find some 4th of July accessories, so I wanna quickly show you those, but I thought it was really weird that I didn't find a single piece of 4th of July decor and I literally walked around the entire store twice. <laughs> so I don't know what's up with that. Does your store have like 4th of July decor? My Walmart for some reason doesn't but they do have these accessories that I'm gonna show you really, really quick. Great prices on these. They have some different like pairs of earrings, some hair accessories, taken straight back to the 90s with these chokers. They have these like Uncle Sam hats. These stars are actually super cute for 388. Really cute hair accessories as well. These are like very trendy. I feel like that's super cute. I haven't seen that anywhere else. And then just some other little like bracelets and little like necklaces that light up. And then on this one, like a hair bow, some cat ears. This is cute. Different little head accessories. Just some, oh, this is like a Jojo Siwa bow. And yeah, so just some cute little head accessories and this little fanny pack. I know it's not a lot, but this is all I have seen here, so I wanted to make sure I at least showed you what they have at my store. 
Okay, all that fun stuff aside, I do have to grab some groceries. In the produce section, I'm gonna grab some asparagus, hoping that they have the thicker ones. Are you weird? Do you care? Do you like the thinner asparagus, the thicker ones? Let me know. But yeah, just wanted to grab some groceries and then I will do a little haul for you when I get home, because I know you guys like to see, but let's grab those really quick. Alrighty, I just got home, wanted to do a really quick grocery haul. Honestly, didn't get that many items, but I wanted to include it because I always like to see what other people buy. So we are gonna have burgers for dinner, turkey burgers, so I bought some buns. Brian asked me to find the ones that had the lowest amount of carbs because he's counting his macros, and these ones had 24 grams. But normally we like to buy the um, Dave's Killer Bread buns, but they didn't even have those, so I couldn't even check how many carbs they had. But yeah, so we got these whole wheat buns. I've had these before, they're really good. Like I mentioned, we are having turkey burgers, so I bought some turkey burger patties, 93% lean, 7% fat. I don't really pay attention to that stuff, I kinda just grab whatever there is, um, but we'll put like seasoning salt all over them and then grill them, and they will be so good. I also grabbed some chicken breast tenderloins. These are like my favorite little chicken things. They're really good in the air fryer. We do do like the TikTok hack or just the hack where you like use a fork to pull the tenderloin out. It makes them so much better. If you don't know what I'm talking about, um, definitely like look it up on YouTube, like chicken tenderloin hack and it will make them so much better. For the burgers, I did go ahead and grab a head of iceberg lettuce. Perfect to just throw right on top and we love lettuce on our burgers like most people. I also grabbed some asparagus. This is like a really good width. I think I said when I was shopping that I don't like them super, super skinny. I like them more like this or even thicker. They just cook so fast and I hate when they get mushy. So I would honestly rather get like the thicker ones and like eat them practically underdone than when they're mushy. I think they are so gross. Same with like broccoli and I don't know, pasta. I don't like anything when it's like too cooked. Which is funny that I feel that way about vegetables because with meats, I'm like, oh, just burn it because like I just wanna make sure that it's cooked. Like I'm super paranoid about like chicken and like pork and stuff. I'm always convinced it's like underdone. So it's funny how normally like people like steak and stuff like mid rare but i would eat it like well done but my vegetables i want them rare a staple for us that i picked up are liquid egg whites we eat them every single morning we love liquid egg whites we just make to make like little breakfast sandwiches on the dave's killer english muffins or just like the thomas whole wheat english muffins those are really good and then i did pick up some of our favorites these yaso bars the chocolate chip cookie dough ones are definitely our favorite the fudge brownie ones are really good too and I don't know what other flavors. Honestly, they're all pretty good, but this one's definitely the best, and the fudge brownie. Potentially for the chicken tenders, but just for any other meat, I did pick up this Caribbean-style jerk marinade. Megan, if you're watching this, I just can't stop buying condiments and marinades and stuff. To be fair, we don't have any marinades. We have like a lot of condiments for like chicken and like dipping, and we don't have any marinades. So I'm not gonna put this in the fridge right now, but when we do use it and open it, I'm gonna have to make room for it in the fridge. Like I said, it was not a very big haul. I did pick up a couple cases of bubbly. I got two lime and one grapefruit just to like fill up our little containers in the fridge. I'm trying to wait for it to go BOGO at Publix. That's my favorite time to buy it because we'll buy like 30 cases and get 30 for free because we do drink a lot of it, but it's really pricey if you are paying like three or $4 a case because we can go through like one case in one day or I can go through one case in one day. So I definitely try to get it BOGO at Publix, but it hasn't been in like a couple weeks, so, or over a month, I think. So definitely holding out for that, but these are the last items that I got. Alrighty, you guys, well, that is gonna be it for me today. I really hope that you loved seeing me shopping at Walmart. I know it was more of a casual video, so definitely let me know down below if you like the more like casual vloggy style shop with me with these little grocery hauls at the end, because a lot of times when I do shop at like Target and Walmart, I am grocery shopping and picking up groceries as I go. Brian and I don't shop for the whole week. We tend to shop for a day or two and we go back to the grocery store pretty much every other day to pick up like meat or we'll just decide what we want to eat. I definitely think as we start to have a family we may meal plan more but because it's just the two of us we find ourselves shopping for groceries very very often. But definitely let me know if you like that style of video down below. But that is going to be it for me. If you haven't yet definitely make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below to join my little slice of the internet and I will see you next time. Bye guys. Thank you.